Death Star plans are not in the main computer. Where are those transmissions you intercepted? What have you done with those plans? We intercepted no transmissions! Uh, uh, this is a consular ship! We're on a diplomatic mission! If this is a consular ship, where is the ambassador? Darth Vader, only you could be so bold. The Imperial Senate will not sit still for this. When they hear you've attacked a diplomatic... Don't act so surprised, Your Highness. You weren't on any mercy mission this time. Several transmissions were beamed to the ship by rebel spies. I want to know what happened to the plans they sent you. I don't know what you're talking about. I'm a member of the Imperial Senate on a diplomatic mission to Alderaan. You are part of the Rebel Alliance and a traitor. Take her away! Holding her is dangerous. Word of this gets out. It could generate sympathy for the rebellion in the Senate. I have traced the rebel spies to her. Now she is my only link to finding their secret base. She'll die before she'll tell you anything. Leave that to me. Send a distress signal, and then inform the Senate that all aboard were killed. Lord Vader, the battle station plans are not aboard this ship, and no transmissions were made. An escape pod was jettisoned during the fighting, but no life forms were aboard. She must have hidden the plans in the escape pod. You, I suppose you're programmed for etiquette and protocol. Protocol? Why, it's my primary function, sir. I am well versed in all the customs. I have no need for a protocol droid. Of course you haven't, sir. Not in an environment such as this. That is why I have been programmed. What I really need is a droid who understands the binary language of moisture evaporators. Evaporators? Sir, my first job was programming binary load lifters, very similar to your evaporators in most respects. Can you speak bocce? Of course I can, sir. It's like a second language to me. I must yeah, All right, him. shut up. I'll take this Shutting one. Shut up, sir. Stop it. What? Luke! <laughs> Obi-Wan Kenobi. You're my only hope. Oh, he says it's nothing, sir. Merely a malfunction. You know, I think that R2 unit we bought might have been stolen. What makes you think that? Well, I stumbled across a recording while I was cleaning him. He says he belongs to someone called Obi-Wan Kenobi. Tomorrow I want you to take that R2 unit to anchor head and have its memory erased. That'll be the end of it. It belongs to us. And if these new droids do work out, I want to transmit my application to the Academy this year. You mean the next semester before the harvest? Oh, and he can't stay here forever. Most of his friends have gone. It means so much to him. I'll make it up to him next year. I promise. <laughs> Luke's just not a farmer, Owen. He has too much of his father in him. Tell me, young Luke, what brings you out this far? Oh, this little droid. Uh, he claims to be the property of an Obi-Wan Kenobi. Is he a relative of yours? Do you know who he's talking about? Now that's a name I've not heard in a long time. I think my uncle knows him. He said he was dead. Oh, he's not dead. Not yet. Well, you know him. Well, of course I know him. He's me. I was once a Jedi Knight, the same as your father. He was the best star pilot in the galaxy. And a cunning warrior. And he was a good friend. A young Jedi named Darth Vader, who was a pupil of mine until he turned to evil, helped the Empire hunt down and destroy the Jedi Knights. He betrayed and murdered your father. Now the Jedi are all but extinct. Vader was seduced by the dark side of the Force. And the Force is what gives the Jedi his power. It's an energy field created by all living things. It surrounds us and penetrates us, it binds the galaxy together. Fear will keep the local systems in line. Fear of this battle station. And what of the rebellion? If the rebels have obtained a complete technical readout of this station, it is possible, however unlikely, that they might find a weakness and exploit it. This station is now the ultimate power in the universe. I suggest we use it. Don't be too proud of this technological terror you've constructed. The ability to destroy a planet is insignificant next to the power of the Force. Don't try to frighten us with your sorcerer's ways, Lord Vader. Your sad devotion to that ancient religion has not helped you conjure up the stolen data tapes, or given you clairvoyance enough to find the rebels' hidden fort. I find your lack of faith disturbing. Let me see your identification. You don't need to see his identification. We don't need to see his identification. These aren't the droids you're looking for. These aren't the droids we're looking for. He doesn't like you. I'm sorry. 
I don't like you either. You just watch yourself. We're wanted men. I have the death sentence on 12 systems. I'll be careful. Jabba wa ninchi ko babusha ni kaitan ni wanyaruska. Erichalya kul ka hindi ko ni kusua. Club Jabba. Bukpa. Kumpak ni atapampa. Ches po kututa krista krenko. Ya oska. On solo. I'm Captain of the Millennium Falcon. Chewie here tells me you're looking for passage to the Alderaan system. Yes, indeed. If it's a fast ship. Fast ship? You've never heard of the Millennium Falcon? Should I have? It's the ship that made the Kessel run in less than 12 parsecs. I've outrun Imperial starships. Not the local bulk cruisers, mind you. I'm talking about the big Karelian ships now. She's fast enough for you, old man. What a piece of junk! She'll make point five past light speed. She may not look like much, but she's got it where it counts, kid. I've made a lot of special modifications myself. Governor Tuck, I should have expected to find you holding Vader's leash. I recognized your foul stench when I was brought on board. Princess Lear, before your execution, I would like you to be my guest at a ceremony that will make this battle station operational. In a way, you have determined the choice of the planet that will be destroyed first. Since you are reluctant to provide us with the location of the rebel base, I have chosen to test this station's destructive power on your home planet of Alderaan. He made a fair move. Screaming about it can't help you. I don't have it. It's not wise to upset a Wookiee. But sir, nobody worries about upsetting a droid. That's because a droid don't pull people's arms out of their sockets when they lose. Wookiees are known to do that. I see your point, sir. I suggest a new strategy, R2. Let the Wookiee win. I've been waiting for you, Obi-Wan. We meet again at last. The circle is now complete. When I left you, I was but the learner. Now I am the master. Only a master of evil, Darth. <laughs> Sure, the homing beacon is secure aboard their ship. I'm taking an awful risk, Vader. This had better work. The battle station is heavily shielded and carries a firepower greater than half the Starfleet. Its defenses are designed around a direct, large scale assault. A small, one man fighter should be able to penetrate the outer defense. You're required to maneuver straight down this trench and skim the surface to this point. The target area is only two meters wide. It's a small thermal exhaust port right below the main port. The shaft leads directly to the reactor system. A precise hit will start a chain reaction which should destroy the station. Only a precise hit will set up a chain reaction. Then man your ships and may the force be with you. All wings report in. Red 10 standing by. Red 3 standing by. Red 6 standing by. Red 2 standing by. Red 5 standing by. Analyze their attack, sir, and there is a danger. Should I have your ship standing by? Evacuate? In our moment of triumph? I think you overestimate their chances. Use the force, Luke. Let go, Luke. Luke, trust me. Remember, the Force will be with you, always. <laughs>